What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff and welcome back to Borderlands 2. This is another video in my series of early level character guides. If you want to check out the others, I will link them in the cards right here. With the release of the Commander Little DLC, Borderlands now lets you start a new character at level 30 beginning at the new DLC. And with the game on Games Pass, PS Plus, and the approaching release of Borderlands 3, I thought it would be a good idea to put up some guides for new and returning players. As a new player, being able to jump into the game at level 30 is much more fun than starting at zero, but starting here leaves you at the final mission of the main story, so if you want to experience the story from the beginning, with no spoilers, you might want to start at zero. In these videos, I want to show off some early builds for each character for new players and returning ones coming in for the Commander Little DLC. The goal of these builds is to make you as strong as possible in true Vault Hunter mode, Borderlands' version of New Game Plus, and the DLC, without specific legendary or unique gear, so you can get right into playing with your friends and blowing up psychos like a badass without farming for hours. I also want to give quick explanations for some of the more confusing skills and mechanics. I've noticed a lot of other build guides just tell you where to put your points but don't explain why or what they do. And last I want to give some pointers for where you should put your skill points after level 30. Today we're going over Zero the Assassin. Zero is the sniper assassin character for Borderlands 2 and in my personal opinion is the hardest to play. Zero's action skill is called Deception and it allows you to create a hologram version of yourself and go invisible for 5 seconds. The longer you stay in deception, the more bonus damage you receive, for up to 650% melee damage, 200% gun damage, and 250% critical hit damage. Ending deception early will quicken the cooldown. Before we get in the build, I want to say that Zero is very much a glass cannon. He can dish out a lot of damage if you set up correctly, but he's also the weakest character on the roster. So staying alive as Zero early game can sometimes be a challenge. You are going to want to keep an eye out for his survivor class mods, which give him passive health regen and usually give bonus points to two of the skills we'll be taking. So the first skill you want is Fast Hands, which grants 25% reload speed and 50% weapon swat speed. Next, Fearless, which gives you 25% bonus fire rate and 15% bonus gun damage when your shield is broken. Now take Deathmark. Deathmark is one of Zero's best skills and is key to most of his endgame builds. Deathmark reads, dealing melee damage marks a target for 8 seconds. Marked targets take an additional 80% damage from all sources. Now go back and take Ambush. Ambush gives you 20% bonus damage when attacking enemies from behind and when attacking enemies who are targeting someone other than you. This includes co-op players, other enemies like Agro Goliaths, and your Deception Hologram. Next, take Rising Shot, which grants 10% gun damage and 9% melee damage that stacks up to 5 times for a max of 50% gun damage and 45% melee damage. Finally, put the last 4 points into Innervate, which at level 4 grants you 8% bonus gun damage, 28% increased movement speed, and 3.2% max health regen per second while in Deception. At level 31, you want to immediately take the Cutting Trees Capstone skill Death Blossom. Death Blossom is an action skill augment that lets you throw up to 5 kunai while in deception, that deal random elemental damage and can apply Deathmark. Death Blossom doesn't break deception, which makes applying Deathmark much easier because you can do it from a distance. Beyond that, other skills you want are Headshot, Killer, and Velocity, which all grant more critical hit damage. And lastly, Boar. Boar reads shots pierced through enemies, gaining 100% more damage per enemy pierced. Enemy crit locations are highlighted while in deception. Boar is a pretty interesting skill that can lead to some ridiculous damage against certain bosses and enemies, due to the way hitboxes work. So the way this works is actually based on the frame rate your game is running at, and the speed of the bullet. The PlayStation 4 and Xbox run should be running at 60 frames per second most of the time, but PCs can run at much higher frame rates. Let's say you shoot a bullet that does 100 damage at two enemies who are close enough together that their hitboxes overlap like this. Upon entering the first hitbox, the bullet damage doubles to 200, and then when it enters the overlapping section of the hitboxes, it doubles again, but now since it's in more than one hitbox, it doubles the damage for every frame the bullet remains in the overlapping section. So if that bullet takes a whole second to go through the overlapping section, it would double the damage 60 times. Most bullets move much faster than that, and this will cause your game to lag and drop your frame rate, so it's usually going to be less. But doubling your damage even a couple times is usually enough to kill pretty much anything you come across. With Boar, you can kill Bunker, Motor Mama, Hyperius, and OMG WTF almost instantly if you set up correctly and find the sweet spot. And that's Zero the Assassin in the early levels. If you would like me to make my own max level build guide, let me know in the comments. If this video is helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button as it helps me know what videos I should make or keep making. Also, consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this, and check out my Twitch channel where I stream things like Borderlands, Rainbow Six Siege, Apex Legends, Ark, and other games. I also do game giveaways over there. The link is in the description. I hope to see you in chat. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I think when you get to the end, you get a weeaboo or a white. Oh wait, no, this is this is different. This is uh, my, it's like middle of Tokyo. <laughs> it should be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> just a look on his face. I right? just hear <laughs> Kappa in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I just look at his face right now. <laughs> <laughs> we won last match, Jiffy. Why are you mad? <laughs> so angry.
angry at. <laughs> Look at this that. is 2 CP. <laughs> I'm fairly certain this is 2 CP. <laughs> and you're playing fucking Bastion. Alright, where, where is Jiffy at? 